Ice cream is a sweetened frozen food typically eaten as a snack or dessert. It may be made from milk or cream and is flavored with a sweetener, either sugar or an alternative, and a spice, such as cocoa or vanilla, or with fruit such as strawberries or peaches. It can also be made by whisking a flavored cream base and liquid nitrogen together. Food coloring is sometimes added, in addition to stabilizers. The mixture is cooled below the freezing point of water and stirred to incorporate air spaces and to prevent detectable ice crystals from forming. The result is a smooth, semi-solid foam that is solid at very low temperatures, below 2 degrees Celsius or 35 degrees Fahrenheit. It becomes more malleable as its temperature increases. The meaning of the name, ice cream, varies from one country to another. In some countries, such as the United States, ice cream, applies only to a specific variety, and most governments regulate the commercial use of the various terms according to the relative quantities of the main ingredients, notably the amount of cream. Products that do not meet the criteria to be called ice cream are sometimes labeled, frozen dairy dessert, instead. In other countries, such as Italy and Argentina, one word is used for all variants. Analogues made from dairy alternatives, such as goat's or sheep's milk, or milk substitutes e.g., soy, cashew, coconut, almond milk or tofu, are available for those who are lactose intolerant, allergic to dairy protein, or vegan. Ice cream may be served in dishes, for eating with a spoon, or licked from edible wafer cones. Ice cream may be served with other desserts, such as apple pie, or as an ingredient in ice cream floats, sundaes, milkshakes, ice cream cakes and even baked items, such as baked Alaska. By 550 BC frozen desserts made of ice, honey, saffron, and fruits were part of the ancient Iranian culinary traditions. Ice and snow were prized ingredients in the Chinese, the Greek and the Roman cuisines, and were said to be desirable because of the difficulty of both harvesting and storing them for any length of time. Around 500 BC, snow was used to cool drinks in Greece. Recipes for snow-chilled sweets are included in a 1st-century Roman recipe book. Tang Dynasty, 618-907, ad, records describe a chilled dessert made with flour, camphor and water buffalo milk. Chilled sweet drinks called sharbat are known from medieval Arab, Persian and Ottoman cuisine. Ice cream may have evolved from frozen drinks that European travelers discovered in the Middle East. The first use of the term, ice cream, in the English language appears in a court document of the English King Charles II. An early written recipe for ice cream is recorded as the Snow of Orange Flowers, in the book The New Confectioner from 1682. A 18th-century manuscript is published in France with recipes for custard ice creams. Stories that Marco Polo or Catherine de Medici introduced sorbets to Europe are legendary and not supported by documentary evidence. Another myth suggests that Charles I of England was so impressed by the frozen snow that he offered his own ice cream maker a lifetime pension in return for keeping the formula secret, so that ice cream could be a royal prerogative. There is no evidence to support either of these legends and food historian W. S. Stallings Jr. says that the Charles I tale is undocumented and first seen in print in the 19th century. Ice cream was made possible only by the discovery of the endothermic effect. Prior to this, cream could only be chilled but not frozen. It was the addition of salt, that lowered the melting point of ice, which had the effect of drawing heat from the cream and allowing it to freeze. The first known record of this comes from the Indian poem Pankatantra, dating to the 4th century AD. The earliest written description of the process is known not from culinary texts, but the 13th century writings of Ibn Abu Usabia concerning medicine. The technique of freezing is not known from any European sources prior to the 16th century. During the 16th century authors made reference to the refrigerant effect that happened when salt was added to ice causing it to freeze. But it wasn't until the latter part of the 17th century that sorbets and ice creams were made using this process. In the 16th century, the Mughal Empire used relays of horsemen to bring ice from the Hindu Kush to its capital Delhi. The ice was used in fruit sorbets. It was also used to create kulfi, a popular frozen dairy dessert from the Indian subcontinent often described as, traditional Indian ice cream. The first recipe in French for flavored ices appears in 1674, in Nicolas Lemery's Requel de Curiosités Rares et Nouvelles de Plus Admirables et de la Nature. Recipes for Sorbet e Sa publication in the 1694 edition of Antonio Laudini's Lo Scalco alla Moderna, The Modern Steward. 
Recipes for flavored ices begin to appear in Francois Massillot's Nouvelle Instruction pour les confitures, les liqueurs, et les fruits, starting with the 1692 edition. Massillot's recipes result in a coarse, pebbly texture. Latini claims that the results of his recipes should have the fine consistency of sugar and snow. An early North American reference to ice cream is from 1744. Among the rarities. Dot was some fine ice cream, which, with the strawberries and milk, eat most deliciously. It was served by the lady of Governor Bland. Quaker colonists introduced ice cream to the United States, bringing their ice cream recipes with them. Confectioners sold ice cream at their shops in New York and other cities during the colonial era. Ben Franklin, George Washington, and Thomas Jefferson were known to have regularly eaten and served ice cream. Records, kept by a merchant from Catham Street, New York, show George Washington spending approximately $200 on ice cream in the summer of 1790. The same records show President Thomas Jefferson having an 18-step recipe for ice cream. First Lady Dolly Madison, wife of U.S. President James Madison, served ice cream at her husband's inaugural ball in 1813. Small-scale hand-cranked ice cream freezers were invented in England by Agnes Marshall and in America by Nancy Johnson in the 1840s. Ice cream is a colloidal emulsion made with water, ice, milk fat, milk protein, sugar and air. Water and fat have the highest proportions by weight creating an emulsion that has dispersed phase as fat globules. The emulsion is turned into foam by incorporating air cells which are frozen to form dispersed ice cells. The triacylicerals in fat are non-polar and will adhere to themselves by van der Waals interactions. Water is polar, thus emulsifiers are needed for dispersion of fat. Also ice cream has a colloidal phase of foam which helps in its light texture. Milk proteins such as casein and whey protein present in ice cream are amphiphilic, can absorb water and form micelles which will contribute to its consistency. The proteins contribute to the emulsification, aeration and texture. Sucrose which is disaccharide is usually used as a sweetening agent. Lactose which is sugar present in milk will cause freezing point depression. Thus, on freezing some water will remain unfrozen and will not give a hard texture. Too much lactose will result in a non-ideal texture because of either excessive freezing point depression or lactose crystallization. Mrs. A. B. Marshall's cookery book, published in 1888, endorsed serving ice cream in cones. Agnes Marshall was a celebrated cookery writer of her day and helped to popularize ice cream. She patented and manufactured an ice cream maker and was the first to suggest using liquefied gases to freeze ice cream after seeing a demonstration at the Royal Institution. Reliable evidence proves that ice cream cones were served in the 19th century, and their popularity increased greatly during the St. Louis World's Fair in 1904. According to legend, an ice cream vendor at the fair ran out of cardboard dishes. The vendor at the Syrian waffle booth next door, unsuccessful in the intense heat, offered to make cones by rolling up his waffles. The new product sold well and was widely copied by other vendors. In 2006, some commercial ice cream makers began to use liquid nitrogen in the primary freezing of ice cream, thus eliminating the need for a conventional ice cream freezer. The preparation results in a column of white condensed water vapor cloud. The ice cream, dangerous to eat while still, steaming, with liquid nitrogen, is allowed to rest until the liquid nitrogen is completely vaporized. Sometimes ice cream is frozen to the sides of the container, and must be allowed to thaw. Good results can also be achieved with the more readily available dry ice, and authors such as Heston Blumenthal have published recipes to produce ice cream and sorbet using a simple blender. From the perspective of food chemistry, ice cream is a colloid or foam. The dietary emulsifier plays an important role in ice cream. Soy lecithin and polysorbate are two popular emulsifiers used for ice cream production. A mouse study in 2015 shows that two commonly used dietary emulsifiers carboxymethylcellulose, CMC, and polysorbate 80, P80, can potentially cause inflammatory bowel diseases, weight gain, and other metabolic syndromes.